Yo, am I the only person that eat like the white, the white part of a watermelon? I love watermelon, son. Like I really eat that joint down to the white meat. Anyway, it's the swim team in the building. I said it's the swim team in the building. Let's drown these and get these gold medals. Squad! Y'all smell that? It smelled like a beautiful day. I want to go ahead and give a, a big thank you to everybody who commented on my last video. Who uh, sent me messages, well wishes and everything on Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that. I appreciate that, you know what I'm saying? I just hope that based on that video, everybody get the message that you never know what somebody's going through. So I'm hoping that as you go through life on your day to day, that you treat people with respect. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? Not me. Because I'm not. You know what I'm saying? But you might mess with the wrong person and they might do that to your ass. You feel me? Because people be going through stuff, man. You never know what people be going through. But today's video, man, I want to... I want to go ahead and tell y'all the story. You feel me? It's one of my friends is going through a, a very bad breakup right now. And you know, I've been giving him advice about the situation. In fact, I've been giving him advice about the situation when the relationship first started. You feel me? So I'm going to summarize it. His girlfriend was pretty young. She was of age. You know, there was no R. Kelly situation going on. You know what I mean? She was definitely legal, okay? But, I want to say this to all you old heads on here, all you people who was around my age trying to date these young joints. You got to understand, bro, these females, you got to give them a chance to, to, to grow. Like, if you're dating a young girl, at a certain point in time, she's either going to blame you. If she stay with you and she don't go out there and cheat on you and make you look stupid, she's going to blame you for holding her back. Or, she gonna make you look stupid, okay? So, when his relationship first started, I told him, I was like, you know, what you should do, bro, is really just have fun with her. You know what I'm saying? Have fun. Don't take it too serious. Because if you take it too serious, in the long run, you're gonna get hurt. You know what I mean? You're gonna get hurt. And I was, I'm telling, I was telling him that from a point of experience. Based on me and Danae breaking up. And based on the stuff I was seeing when I was out here running these streets. You know what I mean? Like... I'm going to be real with you. Sometimes we want to call men hoes and say men ain't no good. And even women. You want to say women ain't no good because of their promiscuous behavior. But when you when you real promiscuous, some of y'all don't know what the, word, the, the meaning of promiscuous is. Go look it up. You know what I'm saying? But when you, when you out here in these streets, you know what I'm saying? Letting your thing hit the wind. You kind of learn people. You feel me? You kind of learn that a lot of people have some growing up to do. And that's what I told him. I was like, bro, she's going to have some growing up to do. When she turned like 21, 22, you know, y'all relationship going to hit a rocky path. Because she's going to be officially, officially legal now. You know what I mean? She's going to want to start seeing new people. She's going to want to start venturing out. And you're a little older, and you're at the point where you're ready to settle down, and you want to just relax and chill, and... She's not going to be there. That's like folks who get married real young. You feel me? It's a dude at my job. Son got married like... I think he got married when he was like 30. No, no. He got married when he was 22. Right? He got married at 22. He's like 36 now, bro. And this man... He be out there fishing. Like... He be trying to get anything, son. He be trying to he be trying to get his thing wet off of anything, bro. And I be like, oh, bro, like, what's relax? Like the way you you acting so thirsty, you might catch a case. You feel me? Like the way he be moving, the way he be up on joints. Like I, one of my coworkers, you know what I'm saying? It's a female, she be wearing her leggings and all that when she work on the machine. My man be coming over there just. It's like, bro, like, I don't know what your wife look like, but the way you acting right now, bro, you, you, I'm a little worried. You feel what I'm saying? But that has to be because he, they've been married since he was like 22. 
22, bro. Like, you ain't even have a chance to really experience life. And even with, with some of y'all, I, I don't know how many of y'all youngins is going, going to be here. Going to make it to this part of the video. But you got to understand something, bro. I always say this, and I, I vouch for this. You in a relationship and you in high school or even college and stuff like that. Females need at least two to three dick intakes be, before she know who she want to settle with. You feel me? This is why, I, like, I don't... Even though I took my wife virginity, but we broke up after that. And she had to do her thing. I had to do mine. Some of y'all folks, you're going you gonna to take your girlfriend virginity in high school. And guess what? Oh, you... you they brainwashed us, you feel me? They got all these fairy tales. Oh, and then they live happily ever after. That's not what's gonna happen to you, brother. You ain't gonna live happily ever after. You feel me? She gonna go out there, she gonna see some new ding a ling, and she gonna wanna what the what why you, you recording? Yeah, I'm recording. See? Case in point. As soon as I start Roger, talking about new ding a ling. Yeah, boy, soon, soon as I start talking about new ding a ling, look who walk look who first walk of up all, in here. I had my headphones in listening to salon. Yeah, I know okay. what the fuck you was talking about. Yeah, no, but then you come in here cursing. Because you just attacking me. I ain't even attacking. I feel attacked. I ain't uh, even... All I wanted to come in and tell you, though, is, like, you got competition. Mm -hmm. Like, this footwork is crazy now. What footwork? My footwork is crazy. Like, I was about. jumping. I was like, dang, are these my feet right now? I was fucking creep walking, like, just on the road. Just... <laughs> what? That's the creep walk, huh? You, are, you look like George Jefferson out here. <laughs> My hair too, right? No, you like JJ. Wasn't it from all? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you don't like that. <laughs> you don't like that. You look like JJ. Fuck you. Anyway, bro, your girl needs at least two to three dick intakes, gang. Before she know that's that's that she wants you. I'm just throwing that out there. Ain't no fairy tales, bro. They had us. They had us brainwashed from since we was young. Reading all these fairy tales. Goldilocks. Goddamn uh Cinderella. You feel me? Sleeping beauty. Ain't hey, boy that that it ain't true. It ain't true, bro. She ain't sleeping beauty and you ain't the prince to come kiss her and wake her up and y'all live happily ever after in a castle. No, bro. <laughs> it ain't going down like that. She gonna have to go through the knights, the archers, you feel me? Everybody, the merchants, before she know, I right, you know what? This is my prince. It's the truth, man. Ain't nothing wrong like getting some some young box. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with experiencing some young box. You know what I'm saying? So, experience the young box and then ship it off to UPS. Leave it alone. He didn't do that. What ended up happening, they started, their situation started getting rocky. And then, um, Funny story, it was kind of dangerous, but basically, she had her, her her side dude pick her up at this man's house. She tried to hide, you know what I'm saying? She tried to make the side dude pick her up in the back of the apartment and all that. But my man, you know what I'm saying? My boy Intuition, his spotty senses started tingling. He was like, yo, you know what? She don't drive. How she get into the gym? So, you know, he, he did what he's supposed to. I ain't gonna, I don't know if I would have did that, but you know what? He basically went outside, saw what car she was getting in. He followed the car, pulled up to the gym, pulled up on him, caught him kissing, knocked on the window, and told dude she was with, like, yo, listen, when y'all done doing what y'all doing, come get her stuff. He did that like a real G. You know what I'm saying? He ain't get no attitude. He ain't, what are you doing? He ain't do none of that. He just knocked on the door and let son know, yo, come get her stuff when you done. Real G. Real G move. But at the same time, you know, I did kind of warn him that this was going to happen. And I'm warning a lot of y'all. Because I know it's a lot of y'all there. Y'all my age. A lot of y'all on YouTube land, y'all my age. My age, you know what I'm saying? You probably got a young girl that you're talking to right now. As long as she's legal, I'm not condoning or supporting no R. Kelly behavior. As long as she's legal, you feel me? 18 is barely legal, but she's still legal. If you 30 plus and you dating an 18 year old, you gotta be ashamed of yourself.
I'm just I'm just throw that out there right now. That it ain't quite R. Kelly, but it's right there. You know what I'm saying? She's a year, she's a year away from it being an R. Kelly situation. But I'm telling y'all, bro, I dare be killing watermelons, huh? If y'all wondering why I'm out here eating, oh y'all see the hoodie? The hoodies is looking crazy now. Look. We are this close to getting everything handled so we gonna have the um the overdose last hoodies out. Overdose last merch out. I was trying to book, do them on printful, but I realized that like printful don't have the colors that we that I really want. And these right here, we made these from scratch, me and my boy Mozzie. So Mozzie has a um he has the machine and stuff like that so you could do it. And we have to manually do these. So I'm, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm gonna price them accordingly now, cause it's a lot of manual labor when it went into doing these. You feel me? I can't do them on Printful, so just stay tuned for these. Stay tuned for these. But if you're wondering why I'm out here eating watermelon, man, I've really been trying to get myself together. I've really gotten myself together. And I'm not gonna say I'm trying. I've gotten myself together. So I've been working out and I've been eating healthy. I've been eating fruits. You feel me? Like watermelon. I've been eating these, these uh. Lettuce wraps and all that, and you know I'm trying to get right. I'm trying to get right, man. And if you're going through anything right now, I'll suggest you cut whatever it is that's stressing you out, and add into the stress in your life. You just cut that out, and just pick up something new. I picked up working out. You know, before I I never really worked out like that just to go play basketball, but now I'm actually trying to like fine tune my body and see what my results is gonna be. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be a journey. You know what I'm saying? And as always, man, I love y'all. I hope that I wasn't beating around the bush too much and you made sense of everything I'm saying. And all in all, what I'm saying is, if you older, you need to kind of date people around your age. <laughs> That's basically what I'm saying. If you, you need to date people around your age because y'all maturity level ain't going to be on the, same, on, on the same wavelength. And eventually, you won't get hurt. You definitely gonna get hurt because you older. You gonna get hurt. Alright? So that's the video for today. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. You know what I'm saying? Leave a comment. If you have an example of somebody who went through a similar situation, I would love to hear about it. And if y'all didn't believe me, I definitely be eat watermelon to the white meat. I eat watermelon to the white meat. Squat. <laughs>